you can add so much color to your Minecraft world. You can dye wool, you can dye carpet, you can dye glass, you can dye the colors onto your dog and cat collars. There is so much you can do, but first off, you need the dyes to do it. I'm gonna show you how and where to get all 16 colored dyes. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance. We live in such a colorful world here in Minecraft, and as a result, we can add to that color too. 16 different colors, no less. 16 different colored dyes, but how do you get all of them? I'm going to show you how right now. Come at it in alphabetical order so there's no favorite color biases. We have to head to the water for the first way to get our first color, and that is black. Black dye can be got in two different ways. The first is by using these creatures down here. Find a decent sized body of water and you will probably find these square gray blobs called squid. Give them a couple of whacks with your diamond sword and you should find that they drop something very useful. It's an ink sack. If you come to a crafting table or even in your own crafting inventory, pop in your ink sack you will get black dye. However, there is a far more risky way of getting black dye. The other way is by getting the wither to kill some things that are alive. Yeah, it's a little bit of a long-winded way and I think probably squid is better, but let's summon in a wither for lols outside of the cave system that you should probably spawn them in at. That's gonna explode any minute, take a number of animals with it, and then it's gonna to start to kill them a lot. It hates them, it hates these animals. Just keep on killing them, and eventually it will kill some in a way that causes them to die. And some strange things will happen. Now that was officially carnage, but you'll notice that not only are there a number of blocks that have blown up, there are these little flowers here as well. These are wither roses, and wither roses are quite interesting little flowers. If you go near them in survival, they'll actually try and eat your face, but they drop every time the wither kills a living thing. So I'm just going to put one of these in here as well, and goodness me, you also get black dye. Next dye on the list is blue. And there are two ways in which you can get blue dye in Minecraft 1.14 and above. Below 1.14, there is only one way, but there's two ways here. The first is the new cornflower that came out in 1.14. Literally, shove it into one of these crafting tables and you can get blue dye. There is, however, the other way of doing it. And that other way is by mining, finding this lapis block, mining out and getting some of this lapis lazuli, or lazuli if you want to say it wrongly, and put that in a crafting table. And again, blue dye. Next on our list is brown, and there is only one way that you can get brown dye. You have to come to a jungle and wander in amongst all of the parrots until you find some of these blocks. These are cocos, and if you knock out one of these and mine it out, you'll end up with cocoa beans, and if you put a cocoa bean into a crafting table, brown dye. There are several dyes that come from mixing two dyes together. One of these is cyan. If you take blue dye and green dye that we'll talk about very, very shortly, you get cyan dye. In fact, you get two because two bits of dye equals two bits of dye. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. That's one way of getting cyan dye. Or if you wanted to, you could go to a wandering trader. Next up on our alphabetical list is green. Now, to get green, you have to come to a desert because you need some cactus. Careful you don't prick your fingers when you're cutting these fellas down. Get yourself some cactus, put it into a furnace, cook that up, and the result will be some really very nice looking dye that you can turn anything green with. Perfect. You can also find green dye in the chest of some desert houses. And then of course, you've always got the wandering trader. Next up on the list is gray dye. Now you have to craft gray dye out of black dye. And white dye, unsurprisingly, that gives you gray dye. Notice that it's gray spelled G-R-A-Y. Very interesting. Also, if you're in bedrock only, you can use 
the wandering trader. If you would like light blue die, then one option is to take the blue orchid here, pop that into a crafting table, and that gives you some light blue dye. Alternatively, if you've got white dye and blue dye, that'll also give you light blue dye. And guess what? You can also go to the Wandering Trader. Next up is the light gray dye. And interestingly, to get light gray dye, the best way is to get white flowers. We've got the azure bluet that looks like that. We've got the white tulip that looks like that. And we've got the oxide daisy that looks like that. Go into a crafting table with any one of those and you're going to find you get yourself some light grey dye. Also, unsurprisingly again, if you get grey dye and white dye, you get light grey dye. And guess what? Yep, the wandering trader. The next colour is the really vivid lime dye. If you come in and mix white with green, unsurprisingly, it's like a light green colour and it's the lime dye. But it's not the only way you can do it. You can come to a coral reef and you see these little candle jobs here. These are sea pickles. And if you pick those sea pickles, you can then pop them into a furnace and that will smell up and give you the same gorgeous coloured lime dye as you just got from mixing up the green and the white dyes. Perfect. Oh, and just by the way, try the Wandering Trader too. Next up, magenta. Dead easy. You've got to mix two dyes that we've not actually come across yet, but we will do very shortly. Purple dye and pink dye. That gives you magenta dye. But there are other ways in which you can get magenta dye. The first is by mixing up alliums in a crafting table. That gives you magenta dye. And also, if you come and grab one of these lilacs, pop that in a crafting table. That will also give you magenta dye. But that will give you two magenta dyes because it is a too high plant. And yes, you've guessed it. Have a chat with the wandering trader. We're going to go for that lovely orange colour now. Come in and mix a red dye with a yellow dye, which we'll talk about later, and that gives you two orange dyes. Alternatively, find yourself some orange tulips. If you pop those into your crafting system, that will also give you an orange dye. And just in case you've not noticed the pattern yet, wandering traders. Our next dye color is pink. Come to a crafting table, get some white, get some red, and everybody knows that gives you pink very, very easy. But you can also come to these great plants here, the peonies. Put the peony in and you will get two pink dyes. But you've got another pink flower here, the pink tulip. Pop that in a crafting table and you will get one pink dye. And then you've always got your friendly neighborhood wandering trader. We are down amongst the poppies and the cornflowers because today we are making purple dye. Red dye, blue dye, Hello purple dye. And go and see a wandering trader. I hear they do a fine line in purple dyes. And given that we are surrounded by these lovely little red poppies, why don't you pop one of those into your crafting system? Because that is how you're gonna get the red dye that you make that purple dye from. You can also get red dye from a red tulip. One bit of red dye for every red tulip that you process. Or if you've got roses, Two bits of red dye because it is a too high bush. It's not the only way you can get red dye though. You can also get red dye from beetroot. So find yourself a local farm and pop yourself a beetroot in your crafting system and get a red dye. Ha, hands up of you. Thought I was going to say wandering trader. Guess what? Wandering trader. We have not traveled very far because the next one is white dye. One of the ways you get white dye is through putting compostable material into a composter. I've got a load of carrots here. I'm just gonna fill it up with carrots. And once it's there, I can take out the bone mill. And it's the bone mill that I am interested in. If I come around and put bone mill into my crafting table, I get some white dye. Another way is to find the whitest flower of all. That is the lily of the valley. You can only find them in a flower biome, which is an absolute cornucopia of potential dyes. So do find yourself one of these and you are laughing for your dyes. Bring this lily of the valley into your crafting table 
white dye a plenty. Oh, and by the way, that wandering trader doesn't do white dye. We've had to leave the flower forest for the last dye color because the flower forest doesn't help us out with this one. We are doing yellow. You need sunflowers or dandelions. Either one of these gorgeous little colors is gonna give you the yellow dye that you need. A sunflower will give you two, again, because it is a two high plant. You can also find yellow dye in a mason's house within a village. Sat in their chests, along with a few dandelions, some potatoes, and some other bits and pieces too. Again, the wandering trader lets us down on this one. No yellow dyes from him. And that, my friends, is all 16 dyes and how you can make them, where you can find them, and everything you really need to know about them. If I've missed any out, let me know in the comments section below. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.